it in judges. Biologically, sex is designed for one main purpose, procreation. Anything else, that's extra. The female reproductive cycle comes around once a month. For a man, it's every day. For each sexual act, the woman's one egg is matched by the man's 120 million sperm cells. Now let's do some calculation. 120 million sperm cells a day, every day, as opposed to one egg a month, every month, means, assuming all the cells are viable, that it will take only 30 men to impregnate all the women in the world. This points to one clear fact. A man is, by nature, polygamous. Monogamy and fidelity are unnatural situations promulgated by religious beliefs and social pressures. Take those away, every man will cheat. It's simply biological. Now let's look at the extra. It's a known fact that women for the most part are more emotional than men. So it's natural that after a sexual encounter, she'll be attached. But because a man is visual and logical in nature, there's no emotion involved. For him, it's just a physical release that's got nothing to do with love. A man loves his woman by protecting and providing for her. Period. It's really quite simple. For a man, the physical and the emotional, two separate entities. Alright, hey, shalom, shalom. Brakata Yahawu, Brakata Yahushai. Call Allah Yamwakaba la Yahawu, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Yahakutash. Double honesty to your apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation and blessing to the occupation's word of truth and sincerity. I'm your fellow servant, Thumb Yama Hart, from the GMS Church in Cleveland, Ohio. Here to feed the lake out of one Ratazai. This is an edifying video, okay? Alright, and um, basically, it's just gonna be about uh, the Israelite woman, the so called black woman, down to the so called Mexican woman. Alright, and um, basically, on how the fact that the Most High Yahweh, he didn't make men and women equal, okay? Alright, he didn't make men, he made us on two different levels, alright? Oh, and how this society today they advocate, they push for a uh, uh, feminine for uh, the feminist movement. All right, you had this devil, uh, uh what's it her name, Ruth uh, uh Badger, B Ruth Gettysburg Badger. All right, uh, I think she was a supreme justice or something to that to that nature. All right, the woman who really started the uh, the, the women's movement, if you will, when you go back into history during the uh, I believe it was the Reagan administration, if I'm not mistaken, but during the 60s, the, the, the 70s, okay. All right, and this this society, but this society, this this uh, society, uh, you know, claims to be a, a, a God fearing people, a God fearing society. All right, they claim to adhere to the laws, the commandments of the Bible, but yet and still they promote for women to be over men in this society. Okay, they promote women to be equal to men in this society. Oh yeah, you had the situation with uh, what's the dude, Bill Gates. All right, and uh, his woman, they're advocating for that. All right, which and and the majority of the people. All right, that's pushing, but that's behind the scene, you know, sponsoring these women movements and these feminist movements. All right, is these elite, rich, 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 rich bankers, man? Okay, and at the end of the day, you know, hey, that's why these, that's why the majority are women. You know, they gonna be put to death. All right, because what, man? They, 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 um, oh, the brother, uh, I believe it's the elder you call in San Francisco. He was just going in about the, the nigga woman, man. You know how on, um. Instagram and social media, you know, you had this this woman, you know, allowing her children, her children as young as look like a year old to be smoking marijuana and shit, man. All right, these women is out of order and they not equal to men, man. All right, and then you know, but uh, according to the scripture, all right, uh, men are allowed to have multiple women, all right, and have sex with uh, uh, multiple women, but women are not allowed to do that. All right, and then in this society, when a man does that, they call you what? They call you thirsty. They call you a cheater, all right? They call you a male chauvinist. They call you a pig. Oh, you good? I, you can come down if you want, you know what I'm saying? You know, they call you what? Uh, 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 go go back up there. I'm doing something. You know, Salaki. And they call you what? Uh, uh, let me see. Right, hey, because um, uh, according to the scriptures, men are uh, by nature polygamous, man. All right? And polygamous mean basically what? Going into having... Uh, uh, sexual intercourse with uh, or, or, or sexual relations with more than one one woman, man. All right, so uh, biblical uh, and naturally, just by nature, right, and 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 backing it up with scripture, men are uh, 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 polygamous. Okay, uh, what scriptures? Uh, like oh yeah, let me get the definition of this word, man. All right, because that's what they like to deem the men who who bring out the truth of the scriptures. Hey, the scriptures say what? Uh, uh, the the Lord told. 
the 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 men and the prophets to what to publish and conceal not man meaning that you're not supposed to hide man even if people don't want to hear about it for the scriptures if it's in the scriptures you got to go into it man they like the apostle always uh going to you like to quote uh, Ezekiel the third chapter to eat this roll then go out and teach the children of Israel you know so you got to eat the whole roll you can't take away from the book the scriptures say that if you take away from this book your name shall be taken out of the uh, book of life roughly paraphrasing or if you add to this book okay so yeah um polygamy is um I just got a, a regular just a google def definition search right and it says um polygamy the practice or custom of having more than one wife or or husband at the same time, which that's going off, man. All right, polygamy is really okay. The the practice, or it should be the practice of having more than than one wife, because according to the scriptures, a woman can't have more more than one husband. Okay, a woman is bound to that the, the man that takes her virginity, according to the scriptures now, and the Christians don't tell you this. Whoever that takes that woman's virginity, that's who she bound to um, for life, or unless he, you know, he, he uh, pass away, you know. But uh, it says right, the practice or custom of having more than one wife, right? King, oh, 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 you go back in the scriptures, and then they try to tell you what? Oh, oh, that was in the old days. You got multiple scriptures where the Lord tell us to seek you the old paths and walk, walk ye in, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, so matter of fact, let me get that scripture to defend myself. And the brothers who push this word in truth to sincerity. I think it's six, right? This is um Jeremiah 6 and 16. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh. So this out of the Lord's, this, 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 this is the Lord's commandments. Stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? Right, because that's that good way. When you go into the word good, it goes back to what? Desirable. That's the desirable way. That's the adequate way. Because when America be destroyed, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to the old ways, man. All right? Which, 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 where was a part of the old ways having multiple women, man? All right, and the women not have, and the women not having more than one man, okay? Sister wise, if you will, it says uh, Jeremiah six and sixteen. Thus saith the Most High Yahweh, stand ye in the old, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths where is the good way, right? Because that's that's a good, that's the good thing, man, for for a man to have multiple women. That's how you build nations, and that's what we gonna do in the kingdom of heaven. We gonna build a nation of Israel. All right, it says, yeah, right. We're not gonna be monogamous, which this society pushes, man. And then this society hypocritical, like I was saying earlier, they'll call the men and give men all this hell. But if a woman be a slut or a whore, they give a what? A goddamn a pat on the back or a slap on the wrist, you know? But give men all this damn hell for for uh wanting to. And when you go into that word cheat, it, it goes back to deceive. All right. If people adhere or follow the law, sex, commandments like they like they claim to do, then you wouldn't have to deceive a woman that you was dealing with another woman. You feel me? So like you. It says, um, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said we will not walk therein. Right? Hey, because when you get you get, you get a woman who go to church, you know, every goddamn Sunday, and you ask her, you know, you believe in the Bible, and you know. <laughs> You know, then you tell her that, oh, you can have multiple women. She said, oh, no, they say, uh, but they said we will not walk therein. You know, hey, 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 I believe in the Bible, but not that part, okay? So, like I said, the name of this video was basically, is is, is the Most High God, Yahweh, a, a, a male chauvinist. And let's get the definition of that word. A male chauvinist, all right, it's, uh, matter of fact, a misogynist. That's what they call uh, men that mess with uh, multiple women. A misogynist is a person who dislikes, despises, or strongly prejudice against women. You should call a damn homosexual man a misogynist. Why would you call a, a, a heterosexual man a misogynist? Heterosexual men, they don't, they don't dislike or despise women. They love women. That's why they deal with multiple women. So they can't be deemed a misogynist, man. A misogynist is somebody who despise, who despise women. Fucking homosexuals. They wish they could be women. You real talk, homosexual men, man. You know they hate uh uh, uh women, man. You know, cause they they want to be them. Yeah, they don't be around uh, those uh, women just to pick up their uh, they traits, they right? Traits, they characteristics, they characteristics, they attributes, right? To the mock them. Yeah, try to mirror that. Yeah, that's right. See, they right? Women always uh, talking to these faggots about their men, man. Right. Yep. That's right. Yep. That's why they always got a, a, a best homosexual buddy, man. Yeah, you know, to, to vent to about the straight heterosexual man, and then he gonna jump in on the bad way. But look though, he gonna jump in and talk shit with her, but behind her back, he really liked the nigga. 
Just like a, 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 another, like if it was two women, it's the same uh, thing. Same thing. So it says a misogynist is a, a person who dislikes, despises, or is strongly prejudiced against women. And we don't dislike women, man. We love women. Okay, what we do, what we dislike, we we dislike and despise, and we strongly prejudice against what women who are out of order, man. Okay, so uh, yeah, they hey, they call you a male chauvinist. Now let's read this. A male chauvinist is a male that a male prejudice against women, and it says the belief that men are superior in terms of ability, intelligence, etc. Now in terms of ability. All right, men are superior. Superior meaning to be above. That's why you had the NFL, and that's why you had a, uh, the, the the women's football league. That's why you had an NBA, and that's why you had a WNBA. All right, that's why you got the, the MLB, and that's why you got softball. All right, because and that's why you got uh, the UFC, and then you got you got you got you got the uh, the the you know the portion for men, and then the portion for women, because men have testosterone, and when women have estrogen. Men have testosterone and they, you know, hey man, they, you know, they raging, man. They got the most I gave. That's plenty of power. That's strength. Okay. So it says that's what a male chauvinist is. The belief that men are superior in terms of ability. The most I said, and what's that? First Corinthians, man. That the head of the man is the woman. Right here we go. First Corinthians. I turned right to it. First Corinthians 11 and 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is a Mashiach. All right. It says Christ right here. But we know that going back to the Hebrew, right? Go goes back to what? Uh, 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 anointed, right? Okay, Salaki. It says, but but I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is, is the man, right? So the head of the woman is the man. So that means that the Most High would be deemed, or 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 you know, uh, uh, you know, called the male chauvinist in this society, man, because he, you know, he believes that men are superior. All right, in terms of ability, right? Because a woman can't go uh, 15 rounds in a heavyweight bite bout with uh, Mike Tyson or Muhammad Ali, okay? And it says uh, the belief that men are superior in terms of ability. We just read First Corinthians 11 and 3. All right, so the Most High he believes that men are superior. All right, in, in, in terms of intelligence, right? Who the ones who the Most High get his truth to? That's the highest form of win wisdom. That's the highest form of intelligence, right? The 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 to, to be a prophet, to, to be a, a preacher, a man of the man that pushes the word of the Lord. That's the highest form of intelligence. So the man, the, the most high give that to men. Alright? Go ahead. Now, this is Ezekiel chapter. This is Ezekiel chapter 34 and 31. It said, And ye my flock, the flock of my pastor, are men. Right. And I am your God, saith the Lord. Right. Yep. So the, the flock or the Lord's pastor are, are men. All right, the men that's gonna be pushing the word, the ones who the most I gave this intelligence to what I was just reading. So okay, now we just read about wait, oh, oh. Now let's get it. They call you a womanizer. Alright, a womanizer is a man who engages in numerous casual sexual affairs with women. You know, a womanizer should be a a, a, a compliment if they call you that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a womanizer, you know? That should be a compliment, but yeah, it's still in, in this society, you know, it's 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 like a um a smack in the face, if you will. Okay? It says a womanizer, a man who engages in numerous casual sexual affairs with women. So that's a womanizer. So uh Abraham would be deemed or coined a womanizer because Abraham had what? He had a wife, her name was Sarah, right? Alright, and Sarah she couldn't have a baby. So what she did to her for her husband? She gave her husband her, her handmaid, her servant, and told her husband to have sex with him and get her pregnant. Okay, and then you had our forefather Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. He had two sisters. He had Rachel and Leah. And then both of them, they had maids, they had their own maids, and they gave them. So he had four women. Okay, so. And oh, King Solomon, you get a scripture. You got something? You wanna get something for me? Get uh first Kings eleven and one. I think that is real quick. King Solomon would be a a, a, a womanizer in this society. You know, like I said, that should be a, 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 a compliment when somebody says that, okay? But go ahead. But, but. Kings 11 and 1? Mm-hmm. Or right, this first Kings, chapter 11, verse 1, said, but King Solomon loved many strange women. Right, loved many strange women. Many is more than one, right? Okay, go ahead. Together with the daughter of 
Pharaoh, woman of Moabites. Yeah, the, the daughter of Pharaoh, the Egyptian women, the Moabites, the so-called Chinese, the Ammonites, uh, the so-called Japanese women. He was dealing with all these. The Edomites, the so-called white women. So the King Solomon dealt with all these women. Go ahead. Zidians. Zidonians. Like like Zidonians. The Hittites. And the Hittites. Yeah, them damn them, them, them Hamites, so-called Africans. Go ahead. Of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children of Israel, He shall not go to them, neither shall they come in unto you. Right. Okay. Because that was the we wasn't supposed to, uh, you know, get get have have bring forth children with those other nations, you know, and we did that. Okay. But in the kingdom of heaven, we're not going to bring forth children with, with with these other these heathen nations. Okay. Go ahead. And um, it says, for surely they will turn away your heart. Yeah, after that's why. Gods. Right, after their gods. Go ahead, keep going. This the point right here. Solomon clave unto these in love. This the point, go ahead. And he has several, 700 wives. Ooh, wait, how, how many wives did King Solomon? He, he said 700 wives. How do you get a wife, though, in the old times, all right? You didn't do it exactly. You didn't put a ring on it, okay? If he like it, then he should have. He didn't do that. King Solomon didn't put a ring on 700 women, man. You hear me? He was popping 700 women, okay? So he, uh, he was a womanizer. Okay, go ahead. I, and it says, and he has seven hundred wives. Seven hundred wives, man. Go ahead. Princesses. He has seven hundred princesses. Go ahead. And three hundred concubines. A concubine is uh, somebody you just have sex with. Oh, right. because they had the episode in Martin. Up. You know the episode in Martin with the uh, the African dude. He came there. Uh, Prince Suchi. Yeah, that's the name. The dude David Martin. He wanted uh, Gina. To be one of his motherfucking concubines, he wanted to pay her the money. Right. And then Martin was like, yeah, but then we found out where the concubine was. He was mad as shit. You know, so re read that scripture again, Bob. Uh, 1 Kings chapter 11, uh, verse 3, it said he had 700 wives. 700 wives, so 700, go ahead. Uh, princesses. Go ahead. And 300 concubines. And 300, so that's a, a thousand women he had. And he was having sex with them, go ahead. And um, it says, and his wives turned away his heart. Yeah, his wives turned away his heart, right? Because they got him at, you know, because, hey, men be infatuated with women. That's why you go into what? Uh, first Ezra, the fourth chapter, that talk about the men. He, 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 he look upon the sea and steal everything and bring it to his love. You know, because women are, are our glory, man. And you know, and real men of the Lord don't, don't, you know, they don't, they love women, man. You know, Esau, the one who hate women because why? He promote them to be what? He promote them to be prostitutes and whores and sluts, you know. So that, that in turn, you hate a woman. A real man love a woman. He want to keep that woman to himself, you know. You want? You got some? No, I was just wanted to that uh, definition, a simple Google definition of concubine. It's a woman who lives with a man but has a lower status than his wife or wives up. Oh, that's right. It said right. Read it again. It says a woman who lives with a man but has lower a lower status than his wife or wives up. Yeah, yep, right. So she in a lower position. You or know, she's, she's just getting popped. It yeah, basically that's all it is. Oh, and you had I forget, I don't know which one it is, man. Love and hip hop, uh, Atlanta or New York, one of them LA, one of them damn uh, cities. And you had the one Jake dude on there and uh it was a chick named Tierra Marie, you know, and um, she was dealing with this dude, but the dude behind the scenes, he had a wife and a girlfriend living with him, you hear me? Okay? And that's lawful, man, according to the scriptures, man, you know? Did, did you want to uh, read a scripture or something? Like? You wanted to get some? Oh, yeah, I'll, uh... Because I'm about to close out. I, mean, I think I had a couple more... Sh Let me see. I'll get where I want real quick. It's, uh... Yeah. It's Proverbs... Chapter, uh, Proverbs chapter 17 verse 15 It said he that justified the wicked And he that condemned the just Even they both are an abomination to the Lord man. Mm -hmm. And that's what they do man Here it is you know it's lawful to have more than one uh, wife man Alright but on this side You will be uh, antagonized for that man mm -hmm. Alright you, you, you got uh, Men out here also that's condemned Here it is we tell a man you allowed to have multiple wives man And he'll try to condemn you man Alright but then turn around and, and justify something that's wicked, man. All right? That's an abomination, which is a, a disgusting thing to the Heavenly Father, man. The Lord said that's a disgusting thing, man. All right? Yep. It said he... If you read it again, Bob. Right. It's uh, Proverbs 17 and 15. It said, He that justified the wicked, and he 
that condemneth the just, even they both are an abomination to the Lord. Y'all. Right, and then right, they condemn the just. You know who's the just? The apostles, the elders, because you know they speak about what the quote unquote rape doctrine. Okay, and they can people can condemn them, man. All right, they just they they, they uh, justify the wicked. Esau eat him, and his philosophy and his doctrine on letting women be whores and sluts, and letting women be equal uh, and independent. All right. They justify the wicked, then they condemn the just. Who the just? The man that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity, man. All right? Telling women that they're putting them in their place, man. Right. Putting putting things in order. All right? Dude, we got some... No, what were you uh, speaking on? I heard earlier, uh, you were speaking on... Uh, they called a man a... Uh, basically, how you said, how the man... I, when I was coming downstairs, I heard you speak on a... They called a, a how, how a man got a finesse. A woman, what you, what you call it? Oh, uh, a cheater. Yeah, because the cheaters back they, to deceiver. Yeah, deceptive, right? That's what it goes. That word when you go into the etymon of that word cheat to cheat, it basically like to deceive somebody or to be deceptive with them. And like I was saying, basically finesse. Right, but if if if, if, if women, these Christians, these quote unquote Christian, these people that that read the holy scriptures, if they adhere to the scriptures, then I was, like I was saying, a man wouldn't have to uh, be deceptive. A man wouldn't have to lock his phone and put no lock on his phone. He could be honest with his woman. But because it is society and these people don't really believe in the scripture, but they try to say that they do, look what a man got to do. Jump through hoops. You know, a woman being a demon. Oh, like the movie, I ain't get to watch it, but Lord will, I'm going to check it out. The movie uh, 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 Acrimony with the chick Tarazi P. Henson. You know, uh, it's a Tyler Perry movie, but uh, yeah. You know, she was trying to control her husband he, after he got rid of that bitch, man. Yeah, that's contrary to the scripture. I got a quick scripture. I this Genesis 3 and 16. It says, to the woman, he said, I would... Greatly multiplied thy sorrow. And right, because the woman went off first. That's why the Most High greatly multiplied their sorrow, man. And their conception, meaning, go ahead. And in sorrow thou shalt bring forth children. Right, meaning conception when, the, when these women conceive and get pregnant. You know, because that's just going back to in the time, in the beginning, when women got pregnant, it, was no, it, was, it wasn't no pain. It wasn't no labor pain. Okay, but because the woman went off, there was the curse that the Most High placed upon all women, not just the Israelite women, okay? Not just the Israelite women, okay? So now women have labor pains. It was at that time they ain't need no epidural and medicines and shit like that, okay? Go ahead. And thy desire shall be to thy husband. Right, and I, it said, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, meaning that women, women are more, like, clingier than men are. That's right. You know, women are more attached, you know, than, than men, you know, they more, you know, you know, they more clingy than men are. All right? That's why he but said the desire that, that shall be to thy husband. Just meaning to they going to want to be around a right. man all the time. They want to be laid up. That's right. Be with him. And then not only that, uh, that desire, that means with, with anything that your husband desire, you, you, you desire it also. Mm-hmm. So if your husband desire to have multiple women, you supposed to stand for that. Yep. Cut. Right? Yep. Right. Yeah, so, you know, with that, this was just a quick little video. Uh, Lord willing, was edifying to elect brother too. We're gonna give all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Chachodash, Brakatam. Double honor to the Apostle and Elder Great Millstone. We rule well, peace and salutation, and blessing to the occupations where the truth is sincere. Shalom, Shalom, Shalom.